Okay, we're going to take a minute to briefly discuss using a circular pattern in a sketch uh, because the functionality is very similar to a linear pattern. We won't go into as much detail. Okay, we'll start by pre-selecting the entities this time and just going to the toolbar and starting the circular sketch pattern. Okay, by default, SolidWorks is going to put the origin of the sketch here. Um, you can also select a sketch point if needed. These boxes here define the actual location of the axis of rotation. Uh, by default, like I said, is at the origin, so this is zero, zero. You can put in any coordinate you need. Uh, this box defines the number of instances. This one here basically defines the angle in which you're going to uh, copy the instances to. Uh, a little difficult to explain. Let me just show you. If you type 45 degrees here, it fits all the instances within 45 degrees relative to the origin and the first instance. This defines the radius of the pattern. And this is a little difficult to explain as well. Um, basically, it's an angle between the seed or the seed instance or the original entities, the origin of the circle, and uh, a horizontal angle. So you can enter that here. If we said 45 here, you can see if you do a horizontal here and then a, a straight line between the origin and the original sketch things, that's 45 degrees. Um, equal spacing will space the entities equally uh, <coughs> according to whatever you have here. And this add dimension is similar to the linear sketch pattern. Basically adds the dimension, uh, which will help you fully define it later. Uh, same box here, instances to skip, same functionality. And that's basically it for the circular pattern.